This show is brought to you by these happy patrons. In this show, how to get your artworks featured in the show, your artworks, and malt updates. Welcome to the BNPR Show. Have you ever wondered how we get to select your artworks to be featured in the show? Well, wonder no more. Today, we'll be revealing the selection criteria. First, emotional impact. It has to cause us to go, wow, that's awesome. Surprise, excitement, awe, fury, extreme cuteness. These are the keywords to get your artwork on our selected spreadsheet. Artworks that are weak or simply void of emotional impact will not gain our attention though usually we'll retweet them if they are on Twitter. But there are tools to create emotional impact, and one of those will be point three in this list. The artwork must be portfolio level. The artwork must be in a state of readiness to be showcased. This means that work in progress will not be accepted. If we see any Blender UI in the render, like the 3D cursor, object origins, or the grid, the artwork will be automatically disqualified. Well, unless you can disguise all those UI elements as part of your artwork, well, then you got us good. If you created a character, it must be inside an acceptable scene and properly posed. That means no T-pose or A-pose. T-pose and A-pose characters are only great for a design sheet. The colors used. To create emotional impact, you have to use colors that excite. Hues can bring a certain emotional tug. Experiment with the mood of the scene or the character. Play with the color sliders until it clicks. If you prefer instant results that you can apply on everything, please check out our color ebooks. The techniques used. This can be the geometry, the shader, the colors used, the rig details, the character pose, and the composition of the scene. If you use lattices to compress the perspective to make it feel 2D-ish, our trained eyes can pick that up. Your artwork may not need a lot of these. Place them as needed, but try not to tick all the checkboxes. Post them where we can find them. If you want your artwork to be featured, you have to make it visible. Your masterpiece will not get any attention if it is only displayed on your Facebook profile. The best way to get our attention is via Twitter and the BNPR Discord. And tag your artworks with the BNPR and B3D hashtags. Finally, if your artwork did not make it into the featured list, don't get discouraged. We can only feature a limited count. Ultimately, in the grand scheme of things, you grow with your artworks and they bring you joy. And that is the most important part. Now for some news on Malt, the Blender Extended Expressive Renderer Beers Back End. There were many tiny updates, but here are the big ones. We have two places documenting Malt. One is the Beer Malt Wiki, the other is malt3d.com. Aligning with those updates, malt development will continue. Miguel Pozo, the malt developer, is starting a Patreon campaign just for that. There are a few support tiers, but the ultimate goal is to sustain himself so he can continue to work on developing malt and writing NPR shaders full time. So please support his Patreon. Your support will determine the NPR improvement speed in malt. Another update is the Beer UI project. We are delaying this a bit to allow a few major fixes in Malt. One of them is decoupling of Malt and Blender's process thread. This fix will get rid of a bug in Blender's UI that glitches when Malt is running. Another update to the fundraising campaign will be coming soon with the release of the next batch of Blend Files. This batch will feature a well-designed pixel art, a gigantic scene, and a cute character. You might have spotted a few of them floating around the web. Can't wait. Now for another update. BNPR is currently funding a small UI upgrade to Freestyle. The Freestyle UI has been stuck without an upgrade since Blender 2.7. Even Blender's core developers are not touching it. Since Freestyle has the most complex line style features, and is way more flexible and powerful than any alternative we have right now, we think it is a good idea to update the UI to fix a few glaring UI issues. We have commissioned Iad 
or better known as CG on Fire, on Twitter to execute the fix. The plan is to get a prototype for everyone to test soon. After the feedback period, we'll make a few more enhancements before we send the patch to be included into the Blender Master branch. Please stay tuned for updates, which we will publish in the Community tab on this channel page. Now, to a newish way of doing things. I want to introduce Light. Hello, everyone. Light is the founder of BNPR and the moderator of our BNPR Discord channel. And this is not art roasting time, but art boasting time. Here are some of our top community art picks from the last quarter of 2020. Let's do this. So first we have these eyes, and they have a definite unsettling factor and just the right amount of it. Yeah, this is one boss that I really want to avoid and the feeling is pretty accurate. And here we have a T-Rex. Uh, I see a great use of line work and it really makes the subject pop from the background. And this T-Rex is not in T-pose, so yep, it's a pun there. So, and it has very nice background that really pops the whole character. And the onion. This silly factor is excellent. The color is very well done on this one. Here we have a well-executed loop uh, dancing, and I really like the kind of different motion blur effect on the hands. It's not really blurry, um, but but very uh, apt for the for the movement. Yeah, the extra lines on the tails and the hands are very nice. And the colors are so warm, except for the white color, which is the accent of the whole, the whole piece. These little guys dancing, and gals, uh, encapsulate kind of the cutesy and yet funny of the movement. Yeah, dancing is a nice way to showcase a rig because it involves a lot of movement. Uh, this is very simplistic, but expressive, and the colors really pop out from the background. This has simple shapes, uh, but often simple shapes are very hard to get uh, to make interesting. But this is really successful and is very interesting. This subject has an instant comic book look that is very well executed. The stylized proportion is very nice and the line work is very nice, nicely done. I really like the stylized textures in combination with the colors used in this one. Uh, this has a 3D watercolor canvas and you can see through all the layers. I really like the 3D parts of this. Even the details are in 3D, like the hearts and the shimmer around the coffee cup. Um, that's hard to nail in 3D. And the nice thing is Ling found a Triforce coffee. And I wonder how long that coffee is in already in the treasure chest. This one has really grimy textures, but at the same time, it's really calming. And it has really good, it, it makes for a good contrast. The atmosphere is really nice, uh, especially from the lights. And the composition is uh, very well done. This one definitely has a surreal feeling, and it reminds me of a uh, self-portrait. Not my self-portrait, but somebody's self-portrait. I like the semi-transparent color uh, with uh, desaturated colors on it. This one definitely wins on hair for me. Uh, hair is very well executed, the shading and everything. And I also like the subtle shadow shading in the arm. Uh, on this piece, I like the texture work done on the clothing. It feels very 2D. This one has bold colors. Um, and I love the thick lines and the feeling that there's a lot on his mind. This has a whole world in the head. I can see this is a label of the... Uh, I really like the concept of a multiple framed animated comic look and this does a really good job of that. It really nails the comic feel. This has happy feels and really excellent fabric animation. The texture is pretty well done. The animation is also very nice, and you can see there is a lot of work put into it. Introducing a badass character as it should be. I really like the effects, textures, and the camera work. Yep, this is how you showcase your a character. Very well done. 
Uh, you really have to zoom in on this one to get the full effect of the textures, but I really like how the textures are layered with color in this one. Uh, yeah, the color is really nice and very hard not to pick this one. This one feels like a 2D image got extruded perfectly into a 3D great setup. Yeah, this is another great way to present a character. So, and, and we have that uh, nice uh, inverted hull, double layer of inverted hulls for the uh, dark effect. This one has a contemplative feeling, um, also a good warm and cool color contrast. Yeah, it has that nice screen space texture tucked into the dress. And I, I really like that part a lot. This is an excellent uh, motion graphics showcase. I really like the screen tone texturing. This must have took quite a while to make and really, really nice uh, flow to it. First of all, I want to play whatever game this is going to be in, but if I was in the game, this would be my first gun to pick up. Normally, I don't like guns, but this is very acceptable. This is looking effortless and a really nice 3D painty effect. This feels very chill and flowy. What a nice atmosphere. This has a lot of modeling and uh, to me, a lot of interesting things to look at and is very art on the wall. Yeah, a, a, an extreme amount of details with a very nice atmosphere and you can pick up every object in it. Very well done. I love the minor animations in this and the warm feeling. This has a nice chill atmosphere and with just the right amount of details. This one is ominous. Uh, it ev evokes uncertainty, a lot like the game. Yeah, when you have an, a D&D party with all sorts of weird characters going on a journey, which you experience all sorts of uncertainty. A really good showcase and I love the small pedestal with the background scene in addition. Yeah, this is an excellent transition from 2D to 3D. For someone to create a whole character like this is quite an achievement. This is probably one of the most relevant animations I've seen recently. Uh, extremely whimsical and I really dig the color scheme. One wood. Fun. This one is a very well done 3D pixel style uh, and 2D kind of seems sad to me now. It's pretty nostalgic and very detailed for a 3D pixel art. I would call this one Serenity in a single picture. Yeah, make me want to go to that place. I would say hungry making here and really great line work. The flat simple colors are very nice and the composition are very yummy. Can I play this game yet? I really love the amount of details everywhere in this little scene. A very thoughtfully assembled scene and a lot of details in it. There is way too much stuff in the show notes than we can fit into this show. A few very nice animations and news that might be of your interest. We also linked to the Lightning Boy Shader 2.0 video. And, yes, and, we sure don't want to forget about this, we have a merch store. We only have four items listed right now, but we will design more. Go and have a look. Maybe buy a thing or two to support the show. Plus, we have a hidden secret in the show notes. What might that be? And that's a wrap. The show is brought to you by these awesome people. Please thank them kindly. Before we go, one final question. Have you tried the line style geometry modifiers in freestyle? Thank <laughs> you.